Hi, everybody. This is the Light Force. Um, we have a lot of exciting energies to talk about today and a lot of exciting things going on in the very, very near future. Uh, so um, let's all get started. Welcome, everybody. Um, first of all, like I just mentioned to everybody that's here, we had uh, X class 1.2 flare at one o'clock this morning, universal time, and it has just been being amped. We have had 12 large M-class flares since then. Okay. Wow. So wow. yes, this is a big, powerful day today. Okay. And not only that, there's been a couple other things that go with, along with today. And I believe our, um, Celestial and star families are really boosting the energies right now. Okay. And I believe this because there is ceremonies going on right now. Some big ones, um, big ceremonies in, in Israel. Uh, the, the Purim, uh, ceremony started today. Okay. And the second day of it, they will get be on the lunar eclipse. Uh, that's happening uh, tomorrow. Okay, these are big, big energies that we're experiencing. So um, we're going to talk about that and see what your opinions are on this kind of energy and how you're feeling. And if you have any questions or any ideas or anything to add, please chime in. Okay, please just join on in. This is this is a gathering. So, um, how does everybody feeling right now? I feel great. <laughs> I'm full of energy. <laughs> yeah, lots of energy. Mm -hmm. I, I've definitely been feeling it this morning. I feel like I've been rushing to do everything. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was up first thing this morning. I did a food distribution today, just was there till almost 1130 and have been going at, giving out the rest of it from my house today because they loaded me down before I left. <laughs> so yeah, it's been an exciting day. Yeah, it really has. How you been feeling, Jeff? It's good to see you. It's good to see you back. How, how's your journey's been? Well, it's uh, 8 a.m. in the morning Sunday here. And I was going to have a nice gentle breakfast this morning until I saw that uh, this was scheduled. In fact, Google told me it was already running. Google keeps oh, no. lying about time changes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know whether it's trying to fool us or something. I've never seen it before. Normally, you just Google mountain time and ask it what Australian time equivalent is, but keeps getting it wrong. Yeah. So anyway, so I suddenly had to uh, change the schedule, and I'm sitting here with my coffee and thinking about my breakfast, <laughs> which oh. I have to. But yeah, no, it's a. Uh, We've unfortunately just started to move into winter, but we have been blessed with about three extra weeks of summer where I live. Normally, the first of March we call winter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, here uh, we're exper experiencing our first days of spring. So um, um, we're I mean, in Colorado, uh, and right now we're having 70 degree weather. So I think we're doing good. Um, but the, the, the celestial energies is hitting everybody, um, awesome. no matter where you're at, whether you're in winter, whether you're in summer, whether you're, wherever you're at, you are experiencing it. And we are all experiencing it very heavy right now. Um, the I was going to explain about the um, some events that's about ready to happen. Um, this is where we need to put our light work at. Um, I'm only mentioning these things just so we put our love and light toward them in a proper manner. Um, but uh, during the um, Israel festivals that are getting ready to happen, they are doing some very serious ceremonies. Now, there is another ceremony getting ready to happen again at the end of April. Now, this one is the one that I'm pretty concerned about, which is an actual blood sacrifice. They're starting their blood sacrifices back up. 
okay? This is something that was ended in Jesus's time and is now being allowed to be open. This is the sign of the end times. Okay, um, now looking into Jewish um, theology and um, trying to understand a lot of what um, their rituals and stuff mean um, is quite different. Jesus literally told these individuals that this was not the way. Okay. So, and this is why they killed him. And, you know, he was killed in the first place is because he went against their teachings. Um, so now these kind of teachings that was actually stopped in Jesus's time is being allowed to be openly done again open blood sacrifice okay this it's is not human or animal it's a it is an animal it's the the red heifer it is the 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 red heifer that they have red, they only sacrifice a red heifer that is pure they this is the they have been searching for hundreds of years for this heifer okay and it was actually given by somebody in <laughs> texas oh um, god yeah <laughs> lord it was actually given to them. There was five red, young red heifers at the age of about nine months um, in 2021 that was given by a rancher in, in Texas to Israel to have this done. Now, mind you, the Christians are backing this incident. Okay, um, they're, they're actually pushing it along. They don't even realize what's going on. This no. is unaware unaware of what's taking place there is a uh, blood sacrifice no matter who's doing it, it is still a blood sacrifice okay yeah. it's still bad okay it's still dark okay, it's dark energy okay it's pushing dark energy so we need to make sure that between now and i'm excited okay <laughs> sorry um, between now and the end of april is when these energies are very, very, very prominent. Now they have completely different calendar months than we do. They have a completely different calendar. So, but their ceremony of the red heifer and the is supposed to happen, I believe, between April 22nd and April 29th. But I'm not positive. Don't quote me on that one. Um, I just do, I do know that it's happened. Now, the reason why I'm mentioning all of this, um, <clears throat> we are tomorrow, um, we'll have a lunar eclipse. Um, and then, and that's our full moon. That's the full moon. And then from the lunar eclipse, which uh, from that moment, from the full moon to the next new moon, on the new moon, we are having a solar eclipse. Okay. Wow. This is some very, this is prophesied. Okay, these inner this time is prophesied. This is the time of the premia, preem. I'm I, I'm not sure if I'm saying that not right or not. Uh, preem, preem, I think is what it's called. Um, it's the ceremony. Uh, this coincides specifically with this particular uh, eclipse. Um, let me explain a little bit about the Book of Esther. If you know anything about the Bible or anything like that, the book of Esther is basically a description of the end times or the, a description of what I believe as a shift, a shift into the new time, okay? Um, in the book of Esther, during her time, during her lifetime, they had the exact same eclipses as we are having in the year 2024, okay? So during Esther's, Esther's time, the eclipses fell on the exact same days as they are falling this year. This is the Jews' prophecy, the Jewish prophecies, okay? And this is why this year is so important, and this is why there's been so much pushed about it. Okay, um, from both sides, you're hearing light workers pushing it, you're hearing uh, darker energies pushing it. Um, this is a big energy shift that we're going through 
in 2024, and it's happening right now. Um, and that's what we was wanting to talk to you about the the solar flares. The solar flares happening. Uh, the X one that just happened this morning. They're getting amped up. This is we're getting prepared, people. We are getting prepared very quickly for what's ahead. Um, you know, this is this is our time to shine. We're we're here. It's just here. This it's so exciting. Uh, and I don't want to say any of this. If this any of this is causing fear, please disregard. I do not want to cause any fear to anyone. This is not what I'm here for. Quite the opposite, actually. I want you to stand in your own power, in your own understanding that that God comes through you. Okay, you are a powerful being through him. So, you know, raise your light, stand in your light, stand in your strength. Okay, this is what I'm hoping for the light force. Okay, to be a powerful team, a powerful team that we can actually project good to this world, you know. <laughs> it needs it. It needs yeah. it back. Yeah. It's our job. <laughs> it's what we came to do. That's it. And yeah. the more good things that we can all do. And and I would like to see some group meditations. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. We can do that anytime as well. You know, right. that would be lovely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if, if, if you want a guided meditation, we can do that as well. Yeah. Some people, some people may not, especially the newer ones coming in, meditation can be difficult. <laughs> yeah, it you is. Know? It's hard to block out your thoughts, but I find it easy to um, concentrate on your breath. Some you know? People, yes. Mm -hmm. Personally, I concentrate on my heartbeat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can sit and I hold my chest like this. And I'll just focus on that area. And that also helps me focus on the love. Mm -hmm. A lot of times I'll, I'll sit and think of a, a family member, like a, one of my children, and I'll, I'll focus on the love that I have for them. And then I'll project that same love outward. Yeah. 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 I find focusing on my heart, especially if there's some sort of, Gentle music in the background, it really helps me meditate. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um I I tend I tend to love like Indian sounds and native yeah. native. Um the next thing, one of the things we wanted to talk about is between the two eclipses. Um like I said, we have one on the 24th tomorrow, which goes from the 24th into the 25th. And then you also have the lunar eclipse, which will happen, excuse me, the solar eclipse, which will happen on uh, uh, April 8th. Yeah. Now, these two eclipses are, are a, a powerful doorway. Okay, this is a doorway. A doorway where we can literally step into a timeline, step into a reality that we wish to be. This is it, okay? This is a, a perfect time to do this. The energies that is coming in from our celestial families, from the, the solar flares, from the energies of history, the history of this world, um on the eastern you know the eastern countries are experiencing such history now this history is bubbling up and it's they're they're beginning to some of them i should say not all of them but some of them are beginning to to see that there's only one way out of this and it's peace it's peace within that's it yeah yeah. You know, and, and unless they take this road, they're creating their own demise, basically. Um, yeah. 
Oh, you want to check that? Are you seeing that? Okay. Um, well, that was Catherine. Okay. Um, we may have somebody else coming in. I'm not sure. They may be still traveling. I haven't read it yet. Are they still traveling? Oh, bless them. Bless them as they travel. It said about 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, they're going to come in in about 15 minutes. Great. Um, but anyway, yeah, going through these energies is, is really, it's life changing. It's a life changing event we're experiencing. Um, as as we grow higher in these light, in this light, we're coming into the oneness vibration, and this is why we're enjoying this time together. Is because we're experiencing oneness. Yes, this is it. You know, we love each other. We know we do. This is this is something that we're. We're expanding in a group setting. A lot of people <clears throat> are now coming out and talking about this, about this energy that's coming in. This is the time to gather. Now, this doesn't mean you have to gather in all in the same house. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this in consciousness. Yeah. You know, this doesn't mean that you don't have to do that. Dave and I went that route. We went that road. It's a very difficult road to live in very small communities okay it's a lot of work mm -hmm. and as you get older that work becomes a much more difficult path so as a young person it's a great journey it's fun it's it's fun to be out in nature it's fun to grow your own food it's fun to to live off grid completely we did it but we also had help we had help with a lot of younger people you know, we were, we were, what, <laughs> just a few years ago, this was taking place for us, you know, so, but we had a lot of younger people there that was kind of there to help, you know, so they were doing a lot of the heavy stuff and a lot of the heavy work that we couldn't do, you know, but we were there to feed them and take care of them in that manner. So it, it it's a, it's a journey. It, it's a hard journey to live. Okay. And you know, when you get into an older age, um, to where we're at now, we're worried. I'm more worried right now. I have, a, I, I care for my mother. So I had to come off of the mountain. I had to come out of that off grid for a while. Why, you know, I care for her because she has to be close to hospitals. She has to be close to doctors through her, for her, all her Ill illnesses. So mm -hmm. my level of care became a quite a different journey you know we we we're we're shifting daily we're shifting moment by moment you know the the channeling that happened that's another thing the channeling this morning if y'all got to listen to it yet um mm -hmm. I, I i did that channeling last night and yeah. it profoundly me you know it was it was quite amazing i i had to read it over and over um because it it's it's very hard to process that infinity you know the infinity of our reality and, and, and what we can accomplish you know as uh, you know through choosing what we wish to experience you know this can be a magical adventure we have experienced that a magical adventure that we created, you know, so yes, you can create a magical adventure, however you wish it to be. You know, this is where choosing a timeline yeah. makes the difference. Okay. You choose it. Now that doesn't mean you're leaving somebody else behind. Okay. This is something David and I had talked about last night after having that channeling. It's like, okay, you're, stepping maybe stepping consciously into another timeline but there is a version of you still in this timeline does that make sense you know yeah. we are multi-dimensional we're interdimensional and everything is happening <clears throat> simultaneously it's not it's like a leveled like this almost you know it's not it's happening at the very same moment even past lives happen at the very same moment this is why 
everything seems to be coming into this reality is because we're stepping up into that, that knowing again. We're stepping up into those higher vibrations and higher dimensions again to where we're going to remember everything. You know, we're going to remember all of this information. And even though that particular channeling might have been above some people's heads, I hope that it it might, as they said, integrate into our awareness to where it will be an expansion, a great expansion of our knowing of even if we don't totally understand it yet. And he, believe me, even though the channeling came through, I personally don't totally understand it. I, I know that each moment we, we're, we're like a new being. We're, we're creating a new reality by each emotion that we have, by each interaction we have, every second, every decision, it's a new pathway, it's a new decision, and you're creating an alternate pathway that can also be experienced. So when you're doing that, you know, you could say, okay, I'm going this direction. Well, I'm not really, I don't think this is right for me in these moments. I want to experience that. It still can be experienced. It's never, it's never gone. Does that make sense? After we rise in the light, we eventually start creating more positive outcomes with our timelines. And we'll be able to do this apparently at will. We will be able to create these timelines at will. Whatever direction we want to go, whatever we want to experience. If we want to jump out of an airplane, we'll do so. You know, we'll experience that adventure. You know, that's up to us. You know? It's up to yeah. us to decide. Each lifetime is infinite, infinite possibilities. And so I found that very amazing and very enlightening. And and I hope that it 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 enlightened others as well as it did myself, because it really did. You know, it, it was it was an enlightening channeling. I felt that way. Um let me see. I've got notes over here. He makes fun of my notes. You want to see my notes? <laughs> he makes fun of I can't understand the thing. It scribbles, and but it's purpose. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> organized disorganization. <laughs> um, anyway. Um, oh. Uh, oh. Another thing, the manifestation we was talking about through the these two eclipses, this is the time to manifest. And it's also a great time to clear your crystals. You know, um, getting them out in these uh, eclipse energies. We are, we're putting beautiful, beautiful vibration into the into your crystals. So so try to remember to set those out if you if yeah. you have a chance. Um that's one of the things I wanted to mention because I want to remind myself um, he's, he's conversing. So <laughs> he, he's being, he, I told him he's going to have to become my secretary. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I would put my crystals out under the full moon. Well, the full moon actually is tomorrow, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. It's tomorrow. And, and that's when the, the lunar eclipse is ha happening. So, yeah. Not where I am. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah, there, it, it is, it's still an energy that it will hit the entire planet. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So you will re you will experience it just the same. And it's still beautiful energies. And we'll, we'll be experiencing a lot more higher vibrations. And we want to put some, some yeah. good vibrations out there for, um, all of our family, all of our families and, and, and everything. Is there anybody that has any questions or anything that you might want to add to what's going on? I had questions this morning. I can't remember them now. Oh. <laughs> They're gone. That's why I make scribbles. <laughs> I should have scribbled. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Um, I wanted to mention that during this um, lunar and solar eclipse, there'll also be the third horseman seal will be broken. Yes, I've heard that too. They're going to be, they're going to be letting out something. They're going to be creating. Um, this time, what they're going to be doing is that, um, as you said, they're going to be doing the sacrifice, but also they're going to be causing um, something which uh, the mass population is going to react to it. However, uh, they put the dot there and they're going to be saying, we put the dot there for you. You should have, you should have been smarter than that. It's your fault. You well, see. I uh the uh protected. Yes, the inner the intergalactic council brought that out as well. They talked that there is going to be something big. Um mm. something on the horizon that is that they're trying to do. And this is one of the reasons why I felt it very important to meet today. Mm. Um yes because this is the day of the beginning of the ceremonies okay mm -hmm. and some people don't understand that it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter if it's a blood sacrifice it's not a good vibration period mm -hmm. um as much as as i you know i don't want to put down any religions or anything like that in that manner but when it becomes a sacrifice of a living being, this becomes dark energy. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. you're creating dark energy. And this is what is planned. This is why it was stopped 2000 years ago. Okay, and they're bringing it back. They're scraping the bottom of the barrel. Mm -hmm. Do you think that we are able to stop it? I believe um, we can. Yeah, I, I, I've got the honor <laughs> that we can because I mean the guides, I mean they all come to me and all tell me, get ready, be prepared. Yeah. It's been going oh, yeah. on every single day. They are telling me, you are ready, you are ready. We are. We're ready. This is why we came. You know, we are the mm -hmm. warriors, okay? The light warriors. The, we're the light workers. We're the ones that are projecting the energy where it's needed, okay? The, there is, don't get me wrong, there is light workers out there that all they are here to do is just be the light. And that's okay. That's okay too, just be the light. But just being that light is still pulling that light in. You're still being a beacon. So there it is, you know, you're still doing the work. <clears throat> go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, Shelia. Um, now there's, I just wanted to know um, if it's okay to look at the solar eclipse because there's been different answers about that. Like it's safe or it's not safe. You're, you're supposed to wear it for the eyes. You're supposed to wear glasses. Yeah, I think for um, our physical eyes, it might be dangerous. Yeah. I've heard that myself, so I don't really look directly at it. But okay. you can, you can, you can soak the energies however you wish. Okay, thank you. I'm not sure. I, I, I purposely, I personally I mean, would not. We've met people that actually do sun gazing, and you know they seem to be fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they do it at certain yes. times. Yeah, they do yeah. it at certain times. It Another thing I wanted to mention, they had said there is rumors of the three days of darkness. Yeah, that's the other thing I wanted to know about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'm per personally, I have not predicted anything, you know, I and, and as far as who I channel have not said anything. So whether it happens, yeah. oh, go ahead, Jeff. Our guides have been on this subject for four years and it's left me in a little bit of a pickle because it's not universally shared. Oh, yeah. um, and so, you know, you think, well, who do you trust? Do you trust your guides who've been telling you this? Or, you know, and why is it not wider sharing? And I don't know the answer. I mean, 
you did see that channeling that I put out yes. from my uh, from Lord Ashtar, uh, where he referred to that uh, and how exactly it will come about. Because mm -hmm. you know I have a bit of a scientific mind, so yeah. I don't just simply accept that it's possible to have no sun for three days. But now yeah. I understand it is possible if you go into very, very intense fields, and there's different kinds of fields, there's gravitational fields, electrical fields, magnetic fields. If you go into an intense enough field, it will stop the light rays. Yeah. And so it's possible for this to happen. And it's a very big thing if it does happen. And uh, But, you know, is it going to happen? Yeah, I mean, that's where I'm at. I don't... I. I've heard it all my life. You know, I've heard about yeah. the three days of darkness all my life. And yeah. is it Things now? Things have changed. Yeah, you're right. Things have changed things from changed. what they forecast 20, 25 years ago. Things have changed because yeah. we have, uh, more, more. our vibration has lifted so much, so rapidly that even the messages that I hear, um, they say that, this is unexpected. They hadn't expected this to happen. So we've kind of taken them by surprise. So, yes. well, we'll and I know that I was, I was discussing this with my mother. This is another thing that's going on. Okay. Many people talk about the antichrist and this is supposedly the time of that as well. All right. Um, if, this is the time of the Antichrist. Now, my mother, being very, 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 very into the Baptist belief, and myself going to a Christian college and, and studying the Bible, I had to really, really, really get into that kind of stuff about the end times. Well, <laughs> as of right now, the Antichrist is supposed to be on the planet and already here doing his work now yeah i, I just found out something that really scared me and I, a lot of things don't scare me there's most things don't scare me at all but this kind of really worried me because i realized it's already happening one of the very first things the antichrist will do is that person will try to create peace in the middle east now, this peace agreement has already taken place back in 2020 mm -hmm. on the White House lawn. Yeah. Peace at that. It was a false peace, but it was mm -hmm. a peace between Israel and two Arab countries. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even know it took place until yesterday. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it happened on September. I wrote, I forgot what it is. It happened in September 2020 on the White House lawn. And there was one president at that time. Donald Trump, Netanyahu, and two Arab, and two Arab nations. Nations presidents. Okay, we're on, and this, and this was something that was prophesied. Okay, and so it's like, okay, all right. I found that out yesterday, and then I got to looking at it. Okay, he has, you know, who's possibly going to get president? <laughs> you know, Donald Trump is trying to make. They told Jerusalem they can make Israel their capital. You mean uh, Jerusalem? Yeah, Israel's capital. Israel's capital. This is all at that same time that this was ta taking place. And there was, and so this particular time um, thing is getting really out crazy because at that point, seven years from that time would be in a Christian perspective the time of Jesus' return. Okay. Um, seven years from that point. Uh, so. Yeah, three more years to go. There's only three years to go. Okay. That according to that. Okay. That so whether or not you believe that way or not, you know, I am not doctrine Christian. And I show something here which I never told anybody outside of our group okay we are being recorded so if you don't want to say it don't say it now we'll, we'll talk afterwards <laughs> i've been on a six-year program 
and it is designed to do what we call direct voice. Direct voice is the ability to materialize entities, be they spirit or um, ETs or whatever, physically materialize them so that they speak without their words going through the brain of the individual because mediumship all the communication goes through a human brain mm -hmm. and that's where we get confusions and uh, errors well it's not the only way we get it but it's one way we get it um and we've been on that program and they've told us that um, we are now equipped but this gift which was last demonstrated by Jesus at the Transfiguration, um, where Elias and Moses were physical, uh, but well dead. Um, and that was done by Jesus bringing that energy through. And I'm not the only one. I'm, I'm not willing to say who else has been on this program. Uh, we haven't kept it totally secret because there are websites that describe some of the training that we have followed um but um this gift will not is not under our control mm -hmm. so if jesus and jesus has told us he will not come in the flesh mm -hmm. he's told us that quite specifically but he can come that way mm -hmm. and he has, he has said he will yeah uh, in story There is many, many different perspectives out there, even in Christian belief, you know, how things is going to happen. Uh, personally, I'm very Gnostic. I'm a Gnostic. I, I, I believe like you, I, I don't believe necessarily it's going to be a physical return. I believe we're embodying the Christ consciousness um, at, at this moment. Um, I believe that's how Christ is coming through is the embodiment of of his spirit so that's what's happening um i also you know have you know with with studying some of this stuff knowing that these rituals are not of the light it really you know makes me knowing that i this is one of the main reasons why i'm here is to null these energies. I, I think that I have pur been purposely shown these things. Uh, I've been purposely shown where the dark is doing their darkness. Okay, just now the Syrians came through. Okay, it's a memory. It's a memory of when I was on their ship. I used, I have part of the work that I do with them is I use their technology to amp my energy and amp the energy where it needs to go. Um, I had had this, uh, I'm my third eyes burning. <laughs> um, I had this, this experience a while ago, um, but I do remember it uh, pretty vividly. Uh, the ship itself, it was like it wasn't there. It was like I was in a hologram. Okay. I don't remember seeing walls. Um, I was walking on a grid that was literally like I was walking around the solar system. Okay. And I could look at the planets and I could look at everything very close up. I was very large. Like I was like the planet was like a size of a house to me. So I was like, I could walk around the house, walk around each planet and look at it and I use this technology and I used it to actually focus my energy in a specific area on earth at one time and this is this is something that, that had came through and I had, I had projected myself to where I was very large looking like I am now which was kind of kind of strange but in my human form I'm floating around the planet you know healing and and sending love energies where it needed to go. And it was such a, a, an amazing experience because this is actually technology that they have. 
it's amazing technology because it, 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 like I said, it was like almost like it was just a giant hologram of our solar system. And it was amazing, you know? So, but at that, at that point, what I was, my point I was trying to make is it was something that I was literally being, had been shown that there was dark, some darkness that was taking place, a dark ritual that was taking place. And this was a long time ago. And so this was where they allowed me to use the technology to amp my energy. Um, my, oh, we got a waiting. Oh, we got Catherine to come in. Catherine and Murph. Hopefully they're here with us. Okay. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Merv. Good to have you. Glad to see you back. I'm so glad to see you guys. <laughs> That's great. Lovely we can join you. We probably might not be able to stay. That's um, okay. Hello, everybody. Hi. <laughs> Hello, nice to They've see you been again. Traveling for several yeah. weeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah we're, we're on our way home now. We're heading home. <laughs> be safe. Be safe. Thank you. We will be. <laughs> How are you? are you? Is everybody good? Oh, the energies are high today. You'll have to rewatch oh, the the video later. I'm recording. Oh, so. we'll do. If we have. If we have to check out, can you please just keep us in your mind? <laughs> so, Absolutely. yeah, and we'll we'll listen to it later because we do Absolutely. have to leave here by a set time. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Thank you. It's so good to see you. I'm so happy to see you that you're safe. You know, we believe it or not, since we started this, I'm getting very close with you guys. I, I really am. This is so oh, fun. No. It's so yeah, fun to do. Martika's well, been at every one of them. <laughs> Good on you, Martika. <laughs> I love her so much. She's going to have to be my moderator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no problem. I love I love the energies. And um, I don't do a lot of groups because uh, I'm an introvert. But uh, I like the message. And I'm curious about what's going to happen, just like everybody else. But I believe that we all raise our vibrations and hmm. meditate or pray on a situation and outcome i believe that'll create miracles yes yeah You're absolutely yeah. right and we have to i mean we do we do <laughs> it's been so good to see everybody um like i said uh You've got a, there's a lot of energy that's going on right now. So uh, just keep in the heart, you know, mm -hmm. stay in the heart. This is where we need to be. Uh, in in, it, in the right now, stay in the right now. Try to not be Absolutely. watching the, don't watch the news. No, don't, no. <laughs> don't pay attention to any of that. I mean, I for real. Yeah. We, yeah. we can't even risk anything right now. We'd have to, I would ignore it all. And I work in a jail, so. I, know. <laughs> I hear the, I tell them all the time turn the news turn the tv off because you yeah. should give them our radio station I know. Now, they don't have radios but they have a tv and i said you know i see <laughs> the news and i'm like turn it off <laughs> so yeah I, I think that's so important just to live in the right now yeah what yeah. a journey you've been on yeah. Right. Eight, almost 18 full years. Wow. But wow. I know now that I look back, it all happened for a reason. So. What a, what a service. Yeah. That is, that's amazing. That is I really know. amazing. I, I can't believe it. And I'm me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. It just happened the way it happened for a reason. Mm. That's good. Mm. It's beautiful. Well, we're about 45 minutes in. How's everybody ready for a remote healing? That'd be yeah. great. Has yeah. anyone else had bad headaches the last few days? <clears throat> Me. Uh -huh. You have, Shelia. Yeah. Uh, this no, morning. 
I woke up yeah. with it. Yeah, mm. I had one yesterday and yeah, yeah, last, last night. night. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're nasty, aren't they? <laughs> Yeah, well, well um, you missed it a little earlier. We got Jay here. Jay's coming in. Here we go. Hi, Jay. Just in time for, for everything. Um, yeah, this morning uh, at one o'clock in the morning, universal time, we had an X class one flare. And since then, as before this particular recording, there had been 12 large in class flares since that X class almost flare, back to back. almost back to back. This wow. is not our energy is so. Wow. Yeah, I can definitely very feel very it. High. Me too. Yeah, very, very high, high, high vibrations today. So this mm. is why I am so excited and so happy to see everybody doing all right and being here today. Hi, Jay. Good to see Hi you. Hey there. Thank you. Jay. <laughs> hey, guys. Jay's another one that's always here. <laughs> oh, you're Wouldn't miss it if I couldn't. Yeah. I'm here. So yeah, we're 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 really becoming a really powerful team, guys. I'm really happy. I'm really excited about this. I'm so and like I said, I worry about you guys. I li I'm literally sending my healing at you guys all the time now. I so. I hope you do. I hope you do because I really do worry and and am concerned. Like when you guys are traveling and out doing your thing, especially Jeff. Jeff's been around forever. Okay, Jeff oh. has been with me forever. <laughs> he, has, he, has, he may not be able to be with us on the on the video, but Jeff has been around at Universal Lighthouse for a really long time. He's been oh, he's okay. Been around. So is he a fellow? Sorry to interrupt. Is, oh, is right. he a fellow Australian, Jeff? Is he an Australian? Yes. Yeah. Hi, Jeff. But, oh, hi, Jeff. I'm a, yeah. I'm a shoe in. I'm a shoe in. I was born in Africa. Oh, okay. right. I've only been here 37 years. Oh, okay. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm That's down awesome. on the Southern Highlands in Robertson. Oh, okay. We're in Queensland, the Sunshine Coast. Oh, yeah, lovely. But warmer yeah. than where I'm at. A bit. And yeah. a bit wetter, too, I think, at the moment. <laughs> You're very wet. <laughs> yeah. Well, hello. I'm surprised <laughs> you haven't met traveling. You both have been traveling all over the place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sydney and back. And I think, Jeff, you, you might have been around there, too, somewhere. <clears throat> Oh, well, yes, I'm going to Sydney twice a week at the moment because my partner had a dreadful fall and she's in a rehab hospital and she's mm -hmm. going to be there for a month. So I'm just backwards and forwards. Uh, it's 140 kilometers one way. <laughs> wow. yeah, lots of yeah. traveling. So let's always keep our, keep them in our, in our, in our minds when we're sending our healing and protection and and that Thank they're you. they're protected as they're traveling because yes, you are family. You are Thank family. You. That's a privilege. So you. It's uh, it's <laughs> we we have a big family. He's one of eight. Wow. Oh, okay. not, I was an only child, but he's one of eight. He's had a big family. Our mm -hmm. other families, our extended family, um, his grandparents. Had 17 children. Wow. So, yeah, we're from big a, families. So, really? we're happy to extend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Well, a uh, high family. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, it's really, it's really happy and really good to see you guys here today. I'm going to go ahead and, and get prepared to, get, to do the healings and, and, we'll, and keep your energies high. Keep them yeah. high, yeah. keep them in love. We've got a lot to go through. Okay, there's yeah. a lot coming at us. And we'll be fine. Uh, we'll be fine. We're wonderful. We're powerful. We are the light force. That's it. I love you. I, I want to remind I want to remind everybody to 
at least to help your body to assimilate the energies to get your bare feet on the ground. Mm -hmm. I know some places it's cold, it's cold and some it's rainy, but even if it's just for a few minutes, a few minutes a day, that really does help. And if you can't do that, at least put your hands on trees or something. Absolutely. What about the, what about the dirt in the in my planted pots? Oh, I don't know about that. It's got to be cooked. Connected to the, <laughs> I have plants everywhere too. But grounding is so important. Yeah. Grounding is so important. Yeah. That's a great point. Yeah. Especially going through the energies, grounding is so important. Um, it helps with the symptoms. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yes, it does. It helps with um, a lot of things. Yes. It helps with any illness, um, mm -hmm. a, a, not just ascension ascension symptoms. But right. yes, any problems that you could be ha having, diabetes, it's good to put your bare feet on the ground. Mm -hmm. um, if you've got like diabetes or any other kind of illness, my mother has diabetes. So during the summertime, I like to take her outside and take her shoes off. Right. So. You probably get a pretty good grounding in the shower every day because that's usually not an insulated floor. It's tiles or ceramic and it's got concrete under it and earth under it. Right. Right. So it could be shower would probably work quite well. Right. Yeah. Well with water. We've been swimming. Um guys, I had to make you jealous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In the warmer climate. But we've been um going into the water and it's energy at the moment just mm -hmm. in Incredible. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's swimming in Chris in liquid crystal. It's just oh, it's beautiful. It's, and energy uh, is superb. Anyway, I, I know I shouldn't rub it in, <laughs> but it's it's, uh, it's awesome. Enjoy it. It's an adventure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but virtually uplifting anyway. Yes, so, and that's very very grounding. Oh, we got another one coming in, Karen. Beautiful, right before the inner, right before the the healing. <coughs> is she coming in? Did she make it? There she is. <coughs> All righty. Okay. Welcome, Karen. Hi there. We're getting ready to do our healing. Show gray, show gray, show gray. On Shazi Shonen, on Shazi Shonen, on Shazi Shonen, Shogre, 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 Say Haki, Say Haki, Say Haki, Shogre, 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 Raku, Raku, Raku. Sugary, 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 sugary. Oh, 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 sugary, sugary, sugary. Fill thou my body, O spirit of life. Fill thou my body with the spirit of light. Come from the flower that shines through the darkness and come from the halls where the seven lords rule. I name them by name the seven, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. By their names, I call them to aid me Free me and save me from the darkness of night. Untanas, Quirkal, Ito, Golana, 
Ertal, Simveta, and Ardal. By their names, I implore thee, free me from darkness and fill me with light. And so it is. Fill thou this earth, O spirit of life. Fill thou this earth with the spirit of light. Come from the flower that shines through the darkness and come from the halls where the seven lords rule. I name them by name the seven. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. By their names, I call them to aid me, free this earth and save her from the darkness of night. Wentanas, Quirtal, Chiatal, Goana, Ertal, Simveta, and Ardal. By their names, I implore thee, free this earth from darkness and fill her with light. And so it is. Fill thou humanity, O spirit of life. Fill thou humanity with the spirit of light. Come from the flower that shines through the darkness and come from the halls where the seven lords rule. I name them by name the seven, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. By their names, I call them to aid me, free humanity and save them from the darkness of night. Wintanus, Quirtal, Chiatal, Goan, Ertal, Simveta, and Ardal. By their names, I implore thee, free humanity from darkness and fill them with light. And so it is. Fill thou my body. Fill thou this earth, and fill thou humanity, O spirit of life. Fill thou my body, fill thou this earth, and fill thou humanity with the spirit of light. Come from the flower that shines through the darkness, and come from the halls where the seven lords rule. I name them by name the seven, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. By their names I call them to aid me. Free me, free this earth, and free humanity, and save us from the darkness of night. Ointanus, Quirtal, Chiatal, Goan, Erta, Simveta, and Ardo. By their names, I implore thee, free me, free this earth, and free humanity from darkness, and fill us with light. And so it is. I will begin the healing. It's going to be about, I'm going to do about nine minutes.
Welcome, Nagani. We're in healing right now. No.
You can now start coming back to your fourth, fifth dimensional selves. Namaste, family. I love you. Love you too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's so good to see Megami in here. Mm -hmm. She's our Hi, friend Megami. from Japan. She's one of our friends from Japan. She doesn't speak much English, but she's in here with us to help move the energies. She's wonderful. Thank you for coming, honey. And I love to see Jay walking around because what he's doing, he's out there projecting it to everybody. <laughs> How's everybody feel? <clears throat> our power went off oh no <laughs> and uh, I'm in South Africa we get load shedding so they cut off our power for the next two and a half hours oh no <laughs> yes I'm in the dark now <laughs> oh honey okay yeah. <laughs> well you're here with us in the light okay yes <laughs> 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 I'm the light bearer. Yes, you are. I'm, I'm, wait, wait, I am actually the lighthouse. Yes, yes. <clears throat> yes, I have lighthouses everywhere in this house, literally. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I have lighthouses is a kind of a my theme. It has been my theme my entire life. Uh, when I was a, a young teenager I used to sing a lot and I had uh different singing groups that I'd sing and I'd go around to different churches and sing Christian music well one of the songs that was my particular song that I sang solo was the lighthouse and I always loved that song and and so it kind of became my theme. It became my mother's favorite thing. She ended up getting paintings of lighthouses like you wouldn't believe. So so they're all over my walls now. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> this is how, where the lighthouse came from, the lighthouse concept. But yeah, it's always been a part of me. I've always been a light. So I've always tried to project that light and I've always known that's how you do it. So even as a little one. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine. yeah yeah that's great yeah how is everybody feeling at the moment super light super light jay how are you doing oh great yeah. you're doing great I'm good. i can never see if I, well yeah my mute off yeah i'm really super well it's just windy and cold here so i'm walking and kind of bundled up so i've been muting it so you guys don't hear the background wind flying by. Where are you, Jay? Malibu, California. Ah. Mm. Okay. Mm. My teeth were were um vibrating and my gums are vibrating. Mm. Your teeth are vibrating again. And my gums. <laughs> yeah. That's and so cute. Stuff. It stopped, but it was just like a minute or two. I'm like, okay, is that the healing? It is. is. The it's ascension the symptoms. <laughs> it's it's all of it. Yeah, it's all of it. Okay, the healing. Um, for those, I think everybody's in in here knows a little bit what I do, but for those who don't, um, what you just experienced, I'm literally the seven lords that I call upon are the archangels. Okay, and it's in their arc, it's in their actual natural name instead of we call them Archangel Michael or Archangel. Yeah, I, I repeat their, their original names. Um, and I call upon them to come in, so this is why we're vibrating. Okay, mm. they're bringing in the light, and I use the Reiki, which is. A ja Japanese art form, Japanese healing form. Yes, go ahead, Megami. Ah, thank you. Uh, I am a report 
and report. I am also suffering from psychic attacks. This is a report I felt in Japan. Recently, I feel that the method of attacks is becoming more patterned. First of all, round takers who seem to be concerned. They, are, they seem to damage their surroundings with the frequencies they realize in their round voices. The rest of people who make noisy attack make mixed in with sound of daily life. For example, they attack with sounds of the sounds that are little disturbing, not to say noisy, such as clapping hands, car doors opening and closing, and their cracking of shoes, but I believe they are dark entities, they the uh, entities that process humans. In this physical dimension, they are sound attacks, but they are probably damaging other energy bodies as well. Also, the processed person seems to change his personality and eyes. <laughs> I, I have seen a number of them. However, they do not seem to have the ability to process the person for a long period of time. It usually seems like half a day to a day at the most. After a day or so, the dark entity sometimes seems to try to process family members, members people, etc., etc., again without learning their lesson. That is all I have to report. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That was beautiful. You did that. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She, she has been amazing. She writes uh, these things by translation. Okay, so... She, she doesn't speak much, but she needs our help healing. And she needs our help with sending positive vibrations for her to not have these psychic attacks. She has been having these psychic attacks for quite a while. And she has talked to me on my website, on the website about it. So, and it's easier to talk that way with her. She, cause she's able to translate easier, but we are definitely sending healing. And love your way, dear. I love Thank you, you so. I love Thank you, you so. Much. Thank you. All right, guys. Say, How's say, everybody? We about ready to. I'll go ahead, Martika. I'm sorry. I just wanted to say something that me. Um, just imagine a white light protective shield around your aura. Yeah. aura. Yeah. Put a white light around your aura. A protective shield around your aura. Your energy field. And know yes. that your angels are always with you. And you only have to do it once, one time, and know it's always there. Always. Yep. Yeah. Just an idea. It doesn't cost anything. <laughs> yeah. She yeah. I don't know if she understood you, but I will definitely send her a message okay. of that. Thank okay. You. Thank you. <laughs> um Magam, she she's talking about putting light around you. Okay, do you understand? She may not understand. Uh, I'll have That's to tell okay. her, okay? That's okay. Um, but yeah, it's it's a little bit more difficult when we're live. I don't think mm -hmm. she has. Uh -uh. Oh, did it? She's, she might be typing. She's, 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 yeah, it's not coming from that. She says, I also... The possessed person seems to change his or her personality and eyes. That almost sounds like reptilian. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'll have to talk to her a little bit about that. Yeah. 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 You're the expert. Maybe. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. When uh, she goes to reptilians when... is another story. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, for that's sure. Another... For sure. When she goes to bed at night, she needs to activate her protections. Because, yes. you know, when you're in your sleep state, definitely, definitely. you have that protection. Oh, wow. What a, what a meeting. Mm -hmm. 
this is great. This was such powerful energy and for the, the day and into these next few weeks, we are expected to experience a lot of ups and downs. So stay in the heart, stay in your heart space, stay in love, stay, remember, smile, smile at everybody. Okay. That's how you do it. Doesn't do matter if you things. say a word. Do good things for other people. <laughs> you can do that as well. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Love is, the Love is always the answer for every, yeah. for every question. Mm -hmm. It is. I love you all. I love you all. Love so you too. And you take Love care. You. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Everybody. Thanks, everybody. Thank bye, you. everybody. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. We love you. And he's saying bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good you weekend. Guys. Rest of the weekend. You too. Thank you too. guys do the same. Okay. This has been bye -bye. amazing.